that, gentlemen, is how it all started. The day Bigfoot himself saved my life. This is how I, Derek Olin, came to know him, to see the beauty of this thinking, feeling, rational being, to believe he exists. And now, after 30 painstaking years, I present my greatest evidence to date, the capture of Bigfoot. Come up. Bigfoot Society of Western PA, be a part of something big. Hey, only $45 to join. Only $25 to join. $10 to join. $5 just to hear me talk about Bigfoot. And you also get an advanced copy of my first book, Bigfoot Lives. In it, I explain in detail the footprints of Bigfoot, well, the key proof to his existence. You see, for a creature this size, the weight distribution is different than that of a normal person. In other words, they're virtually impossible to fake. Okay, not into the footprints. Check this out. Took it when I was six. Isn't it incredible? It's a tree stump. If you squint, you, you can see a hand here. Give me the five bucks. Hey, bro, turn to channel three. There's a special on Bigfoot you might want to watch. <laughs> After 40 odd years, the legendary Patterson footage of Bigfoot, considered to be the greatest proof of the creature, is revealed to be nothing more than a clever hoax. Daddy went out and he bought himself a gorilla costume, and so he dressed Mama up like the gorilla in that costume, and he had her run all around the woods out there, and he made a movie picture of it. Right, right, right here is where it what was. About the right, footprints, right here, huh? Believe, yeah, yeah, this, this is, this you is can't fake the footprints, right can you, Hick Boy? And Daddy made, uh, Lots of footprints on, uh, down in the uh, down the ground with with this plaster foot cast. If it was simple to do, a oh. damn two-year-old could have done it. With, you know, just like... Look, Derek, I'm sorry, but the company can't afford another flop on its hands. Not after what happened to Heather has a crack whore mommy. It's already gone to print. Hey, it wasn't my idea. The board voted it down. Said they didn't want to look like idiots. I spent 30 years of my life on that book. Hey, come on, chin up, Pally. It's not all bad news. We're gonna recycle the paper from your book to print John Travolta's new Scientology guide. 30 years chasing after something that doesn't even exist. Why can't you be more like your brother Eric? He did something respectable with his life. UFOs. Have you seen his latest book? Number one bestseller. Yeah, Mom. How do you know UFOs are real? The evidence can't be denied. Even Carter's seen a UFO. Has an ex-president ever seen Bigfoot? No. And such wonderful pictures. I have a picture. It's a tree stump, Derek. A tree stump! They're here! They're here! Eric, another one just landed in the backyard. Tree stump. I wouldn't join your stupid club if you paid me. Oh, wait, you already knew that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Derek. We decided to turn your book into toilet paper. Wasn't my idea. I'd never wipe my ass with it. <laughs> Why can't you be more like your brother? Get a job? Get your own place. 
Get a girlfriend. I'm that girl from high school that you asked to the prom. I did your brother in the backseat of your car instead. And then we saw a UFO. <laughs> Every person on earth called you crazy for your beliefs. They can never take it away from you. I've been with you your whole life, watching you watch me. You always had the blind faith of a child, Derek. Why do you doubt yourself now? The TV? They said you weren't real. They said you didn't exist. Believe, Derek. Believe in Bigfoot. I believe. I believe. It is time, Derek. Show the rest of the world what you have known for so long. It's a tree stump. That's all it is, and that's all it ever will be. What are the girls in Bridge Club going to think? Their sons all made something of themselves. <laughs> 